This is the Textiles episode of the Ohio Historical Society's Windows to Our Collections, Ohio's Ancient Past podcast series. You should be at the third Living in Society case. The textiles are in the middle woodland period drawer on the right. We're here at the third Living in Society case and looking at some really extraordinary material to even be preserved in the archaeological record. Certainly, all the ancient peoples of Ohio were familiar with properties of plants that allowed fibers to be drawn from them and spun into cordage, rope, um, and even textiles. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in most instances, in most archaeological sites, these kinds of materials are not preserved. Uh, it's only in occasions like dry rock shelters, or when the textile may have been slightly burned or charred, or if it's come into contact with copper, such as we have some examples here. Now, these examples are all Hopewell culture textiles from three mounds, the Hopewell Mound Group, uh, Site Mound, and Harness Mound, and they range from very finely woven textiles to a more coarser weave. Mm -hmm. uh, researchers have been studying this material and have found that some of the uh, plant fibers being used are things like uh, dog bane or uh, swamp milkweed. Uh, in some cases, the textiles the, uh, were interspersed with rabbit hair as well. Now, in spite of the quality, it doesn't seem like the Hopewell had a true loom, so they probably had just some kind of framework that allowed them to weave these fibers together, but um, I guess we, we are a, a, it's amazing that such things have even been preserved to us from such an ancient period. Mm -hmm.